here at River Cottage, I'm the, I'm the head chef on the farm. Um, I've been here for two years, day-to-day uh, -day running of the kitchen, uh, running cookery schools, uh, running uh, dining events at the weekends. Part of my job is also organising the farm, so I work with head gardener Craig to plan the fields uh, and plan the animals through the year and then decide when those animals go to slaughter, using the whole animal to pay respect. As head of education, I'm responsible for the writing of the qualifications, launching the qualifications to the right audiences, uh, making sure they are um, of great quality and of great standard, and also most recently building a new chef school as well, which has been thoroughly exciting. Our Young Chef Apprenticeship Scheme is for 18 to 24 year olds based in the Southwest. If they're not currently based in the Southwest, we positively encourage them to move to the Southwest. Um, it is an intermediate qualification aimed at improving the culinary capability of young people. Choosing City and Guilds as our awarding body was a simple decision for me. City and Guilds have a great history of providing high quality qualifications, especially in the catering industry. As a brand, I think there are similarities in what City and Guilds deliver to what River Cottage delivers. When you speak to chefs in industry, they still talk about the City and Guilds qualifications. Um, so it was a very, very simple choice. Well, here we're incredibly busy um, all year round. Uh, we have full dining events, we have waiting lists through the summer. Uh, our cookery schools are always fully booked. Um, and we try and get the apprentices involved as much as possible. They get the full exposure. We don't hide them from anything. It's not like well, you can't do that because you're an apprentice. They have to do absolutely everything. Um, they have to do stuff that I do. Um, and they have to shadow us all the time. Um, and they're generally no more than a foot away from one of the senior chefs all, all day long. So it's not like we put them in the corner to peel spuds or onions. They get to do the whole, the whole chef's experience. And um, ultimately in a year's time they'll be qualified and out into the big wide world of chefing. So they need, to, they need to have these skills and there's no use sending them out when all they can do is prep veg. The biggest challenge I see in the catering industry has not changed for the past 10 years, and that is the pipeline of great chefs coming into the industry, qualified, high caliber graduates coming into the industry. Though we have a recruitment problem, um, and I hope that through training and developing and qualifying our own people, we can start to help and start to provide a high quality pipeline of talent into catering. They're, they're just great to have around. Um, you're training someone, you're putting something into the future. And if you train them for a year, um, with the help of City and Guilds and the backup you get from that, um, in a year's time, if, if they do well and they stay with you, you've got a valued member of staff after a year that you don't have to train. They already know the way you work. Um, and they'll stay with you for, for many years. I mean, I've had apprentices stay with me for four, five, six years. They've changed jobs with me. Um, and it's great because you've got this great chef that you've, you've trained. Mm -hmm.